officers searching for a man they say handcuffed that woman in her own home. Yeah, some scary moments. It happened this morning around 8 o'clock on the 400 block of Dahlia Street. That's right off of Air Base Parkway and Heath Drive. Case Area 3's Claire Dewan spoke to her about that frightening ordeal. And he was on the other side of my car. Pat Seehausen saw the robber coming in through the garage door around 8 this morning. He was covered from head to toe, uh, mask, gloves, the whole thing. But she could not lock her interior door in time. Before I could get to my phone, he kicked in the door. He pried open the screen door. He kicked in the door. He probably hit me in the head with, with something. I know he had a gun, but I, I, he also had a hammer that he had pried the door open with, I think. Despite the blow to her head, she was still conscious. I was on the floor, this chair was upside down, and I was handcuffed to it. While she was on the ground, he ransacked the house, taking jewelry and other valuables. I was trying to keep my sense of, you know, don't say something stupid, don't aggravate him. He kept telling me he was an addict and needed a fix. He told her he had a gun, but did not want to hurt her. I'm laying on the floor saying the 23rd Psalm to myself, trying to keep calm. And then I grab my chest and I'm telling him, you know, I'm going, you know, I said, I got a nurse coming. I've been in the hospital. Before the nurse arrived, the robber escaped through the back door. I'm glad I'm breathing. You know, it could have been, been the end. I may never have known it, you know, it's, but it's, it's scary. It seems unreal. Unreal, and for the 82 year old, an experience that will have her shaken up for a long time. In Fairfield, Claire Dwan, KCRA.